Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Liz from Liz's Party Designs. Today I'm coming to you with a Rice Krispie Treats wrapper template for a graduation. This is for an elementary graduation theme, uh, but you can pretty much do any theme on these templates. Like I've said before, all these shaded areas are able, you're able to be uh, filled in with different colors, patterns, and backgrounds. So let's get started. To my left here is the design that I've created. On my mat is a sample template that I've enlarged just to make sure all the details are caught on the video and you're able to see a better picture as to what I'm doing. Now this is the size of the uh, crispy treat that we're using. It's the 0 0.78 ounce treat. You can also use these on the Fruity Pebble snack size as well. Those are available in the same um, in the same uh, treat size. So let's get started. This is how you will receive your template once you uh, once it's sent to you through either Etsy or email. Um, you can use the same steps in the Cricut software as well as the Silhouette software. So. Um, this red line you see here is going to be a guide for us to know where exactly the middle of the wrapper is or actually the front of the wrapper. Uh, this, in this area, you will, uh, this will guide you as to where you need to place your text, your images, your logos, and all that other stuff. So for these sidebars, these two black sidebars you see here, you can leave them there or you could take them away. It is up to you how you want to use them. As for me, I left them there, but you could do away with them or keep them however you uh, however you choose to use them. So for these, I'm keeping them and I'm going to uh, fill them in with... Uh, I'm going to fill them in with the blue glitter paper which is this dark blue one here and you could fill it in with anything if I wanted to change the color I could I could uh, whoops I could use a solid color I can change the pattern um, as you see here I'm just tapping the different colors but I just choose to use the glitter paper and that's what I'm gonna input here so for this white box here it's going to stay white. I'm not going to change the color on that because on my actual item that I printed it is white as well. Now I have downloaded and um, actually I think I've Google searched I have Google searched and downloaded a uh, UPC bar or barcode which is this one here and um, all I'm going to do is duplicate it and have it set aside for my template. I'm going to, for my new template that I'm going to make on this site. So I'm going to click on the middle, or I, I'm sorry, I'm going to click, yeah, I'm going to click on the dark gray shaded area. I'm going to fill that in with the, the blue background that I have here as well and uh, if you watched my pop ring pop video you saw how I downloaded this into my software so I'm not going to go over those steps again you can go back and watch those if you're interested or if you already know how to import to your library just go ahead and do so now uh, for this barcode I need to outline it with white all right. Even though the red's not going to show up, but I just want it to be white. I'm going to place that here. That's this is going to be our back flap. This blue one and this bottom white one are going to be our back flaps to our wrapper. Now this red line here is a box that is around that is placed here in the middle. And it can be, um, 
Actually, I probably need to make it a different color just so that y'all can see it a little better. All right, so the yellow line, it'll be a yellow line or red line, however it is that you receive the file. That line, leave it there. Now, if you want the front to look different from this back panel here, all I would do is click on the yellow box and I would fill it in with, uh, whoops, I would fill it in with whatever color you want it to be or pattern. If I wanted it purple, I'd make it purple. If I want it to be a pattern, uh, let's say, let's do the grad hat pattern. I would do that. But for this uh, design, I'm keeping it the front the same as one of the back flaps the same. So that's this blue one right here. Now I'm going to go ahead and duplicate my Rice Krispie Treat logo. And I did the Ring Pop logo so you could simply Google search Rice Krispie Treat logo. Pick one that you like and uh, trace and detach to place on the front of your label. Mm, as well as the, I'm going to go ahead and write the child's name which is, I'm going to write congratulations because I don't think I did that on oops I did the L and the A backwards congratulations and the font for that is whoops what's the font name for that uh, Athena of the Ocean is the font name okay Athena of the Ocean is the font name for that style. Alright. So I'm going to fill that in. Actually, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to fill that in with the blue color that I liked. Actually, let me pick it up from here. And I'm going to offset this because it's going to clash with the background being blue. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate it really quickly. And I am going to highlight it and delete and put Braylon Williams Jr. There we go. I really like this font. It's pretty. So I'm just going to line those up and uh, make sure they are aligned right on top of each other. Whoops. Not like that. I meant to center it. Align center. There we go. Now I'm going to group it just because uh, when I start moving stuff around I want everything to be together. I don't want it having to uh, I don't want to have to be worried about what it's picking up around and what is moving and what is not moving. 0 0.050. Let me see how 0 0.050 works. It's too thick. No, it's good. So I'm going to fill that in with white. Since the school colors are blue and white, I'm trying to stick to that, all of that throughout the label. Alright, and group that again. I want everything grouped and stay together. So that's going to go right here in front of the logo. And I'll show y'all how I did the barcode in just a minute. I think I just did a Google search, made my own two little, two little boxes, and filled it in. The picture, I'm not going to go through the steps on that because you could create your own or um, usually Etsy sellers design those for you. Um, if you want that designed for you, I can do that. It'll just be an extra fee. And then I will email it to you and you can add it to your clip arts as needed. Uh, because in uh, Cricut, I'm not able to attach any of this, only through Silhouette. Cricut, I'm only able to attach the shapes or make the shapes for you. Um, we're not able to share anything from other outlets in the software. I don't know why. But I understand because um, all right so let's see I want this bigger because he is like the main focus of the 
rapper I am going to downsize his name this is why I say to group everything because once you start downsizing and moving stuff you want it to be all together you don't want to have to be oh well if I move the name the offset doesn't move and uh, it's just a mess and it's very frustrating and it feels like you have to start all over because uh, it's just it's just hectic once you highlight all of this and you want to start just grabbing certain things it gets really time-consuming and you don't want to waste too much time um, dealing with one little thing that could have been fixed at the beginning so this is my barcode I'm gonna zoom in on it because um, I wrote congrats Braylon and yes it's upside down because that's the way the label is when you place it on your flaps um, what I did was get the barcode um, and just made a square around it uh, cropped it then I came here and added my own wording so if I ungroup it it's gonna have these two words where I could remove off of there and I can uh, change the wording and change the name but for this one I'm gonna say congrats Braylon I could say congrats grad class of 2019 of course he's not class of 2019 he'll be a future class of let's say 2028 20, or something like that you know cuz I don't know what grade he is in now but um, uh, being that he is and elementary still he has quite a ways to go all right so um, there's that's how I did that so that's placed here this hat is an SVG file I showed that on my ring pop video so you can go back and watch that too on how I purchased that one and I'm gonna do I'm gonna group it because every time I drag it it comes apart and I don't want that and I could add anything here if you want the hat black you could do the hat black if you want it gold silver whatever color it is that you want um, place that there and of course you don't have to do what I'm doing this is just inspiration for you to get creative with your own themes um, you saw me do the mermaid ring pop now I'm doing the graduation ring pop there will be plenty more uh, DIY videos for these templates that I offer in my Etsy shop guys they are so easy to use you simply click on the shapes that you want to fill in with color or pattern and uh, you can get it done you do multiple themes if you have four events in one week I mean knock them out and you can print as many as you want for your own event um, use the same template year after year event after event birthday after birthday I understand if you have more than one child you tend to always want to do the same treats or snacks for their parties just so that they feel special and when you put your child's picture on them it just uh, makes it a lot more uh, meaningful and special and warming to them so I hope you all enjoyed the video the next one I do I will do in Cricut but these designs I mostly work with silhouette but if you're familiar with Cricut I do offer the template for there as well so I hope you all have a great day bye bye hi everyone this is Liz from Liz's Parlor Design so I finally got all the templates printed out and they are ready to go I also created a chip bag I will show you those or that in just a minute I'm gonna start with the Rice Krispie Treat wrapper and that is this one here um, I will also have the design video for this one up as well so let me go ahead and move this mat so here's the design for the Rice Krispie Treat wrapper um, I added the Rice Krispie Treat logo, his name, and then the picture of the student with the graduation uh, circle design. So I'm going to place this down and I'm going to add my Krispie Treat. I'm going to fold, actually I already folded where the two patterns meet. 
on both sides and this will go under and the barcode will go over so I am going to go ahead and hot glue I have changed my mind about the hot glue for wrapper assembly because it is a sturdier hold you just have to be extra extra careful not to burn yourself so just be cautious of that take your time don't rush it because you will get burned if you're trying to rush and all that stuff so keep a like a bowl of ice water near you when you're working with hot glue that'll help with um any burns or anything that, you, that, that may be caused you can just stick your hand directly into the ice water and that helps so i'm going to slide in my crispy treat like so all right and i did a video for this on um, for this wrapper on the mermaid theme and there's the front of the wrapper so it fits you know just right in the middle or right in the front of the image or the wrapper here the template and I'm gonna hot glue this inner part I probably could have made my frame just a tad bit more I could have made this glitter frame just a tad bit more thicker because I might have to end up cutting off some of it because uh, when you go to close your packages, you have a little bit of white overlay that can there's I don't think that's ever going to be preventable. So just keep that in mind. Maybe you want to thicken up the line a little bit, but that's up to you. I'm gonna do the other side, close it up. All right, and there it is. There's the Rice Krispie Treat wrapper. This is gonna be trimmed with just some plain scissors because I don't wanna go cutting off all this trim that I added, the glitter trim. So I'm just cutting off the white where any white is showing. There's no white on this side. So here's the back of the wrapper.